lot of people in Jamaica like American football? Yes. No. A, a, a lot of people don't know. They don't know about it? Okay. What about you guys? You guys like American football? Why do you like it so much? Because, um, the, um, oh, we feel, we feel active, man. You feel active? Yeah. Just love the touch that I feel. Yeah. <laughs> I started watching the sport back in the 80s when it was first appeared on our local television. Okay. Awesome. I said, all right, I need to take it a step further wow. and start this thing um, here on the island. And one of the good things about American football is that it is so diverse in that the positions, the parts are so unique. Yeah. And seeing that and looking at the type of talent that we have as Jamaicans, I'm saying that with any kid that we have in out here, we can train and develop to play the sport. So with that inspiration, we started job from I left Jamaica when I was about eight years old. Came back out here in 07. I still had a love for the sport. Right. So in the meantime, I, I just had to find, you know, I Googled, you know, American football in Jamaica. And I came, I found this organization called JAFA, which is Jamaican American Flag Football Association. And I reached out to them and I said, look, I would love to be a part of whatever you guys are doing. And um, luckily they were in Kingston, met up with the President Roger Salmon, and uh, we spoke, he's like, hey, what would you like to do, play, coach? I'm like, man, anything. Flag football can definitely be a success here for us. Some of these guys out here, you, know, you talk to them and they say, well, I've been playing for two and a half months. Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're right. Yeah. That's the yeah. truth. The hardest thing that we have with these kids is them learning how to catch the ball. For them, they're so used to playing the other football or cricket or track and field. It's taken a while for us to kind of develop them into learning how to catch how to throw. We're really thankful for you guys coming out here oh, and, and really, you know, being another another voice yeah. other than us, you know, welcoming the sport, introducing the sport to these kids because talent is here. Right. It's here. You know, we just need them to see and, and be, um, you know, motivated and we want them to know that, you know, if they come out and do their best and show their talents, I mean, because they, they got it. They got the talent, you know. It's just that um, they, need, they need the opportunity. Uh, I believe it was very interesting. I'm not really a NFL player or anything, but I can tell that I'm interested now. It's new because everybody likes to do a new sport, and this is a great sport. And I like how everyone came together, everybody was supportive, fun. Talk to me about the message that you heard regarding, regarding Jesus here out here today. It was very enlightening. It was like I needed to hear that, where he said I should seek. God in his kingdom. I really need to do that because sometimes I do feel a bit lost. It touched me because everybody thinks that because we come here and we run and we play, we are okay, but some of the children are out here not okay. So I like how he understands and cares about the mental aspect of the players and athletes. We learned about Christ and that Christ is actually a king. Not much people believe that, but it's actually very true. I hope that everyone like, learns from this experience and that you guys continue to impact youths. I wish this camp was longer because I really liked it. If it were longer, I'd come every day. I'm going to miss this camp. Mostly all of you guys, especially Coach EJ and Mr. McDonald. Well, this event has been a success. We wanted to get teens to come out, experience football, learn the sports, have fun with it. and also get connected to AIA, hear the gospel. 
that was done, one of the bigger things for us was really propelling the ministry forward. Right. You know, and I believe this event did just that. We're able to get connected with coaches from different schools, and then even at the coaches' dinner, we're able to get connected with a number of different coaches who want what we what we what we do. For me, I just call this one big success. How do you use sport to bring about the gospel? Well, sport is something that gets people involved. Jamaicans love sports, so use something that they love, attracts a crowd. You could do something like this, where you're giving them the opportunity to play a sport, learn a sport for free, they're gonna listen to you. And with their ears, we can now share the gospel with them. We want them to develop in their sports to become the best that they can be. We right. wanna see that happen for sure. But we also want to see all people develop spiritually, grow in a relationship with God, and really have that as their focus. So that when these Jamaican kids grow up, they can share their, God, their, their faith. We've gotten connected with Jaffa, and so I've been doing some chaplain work with the uh, volleyball team at UTEC. So I spoke to Roger last night, and we agreed that I'd be a chaplain for Jaffa. From there now, you know, he has kids from different high schools. Yeah. Be able to reach those kids, train them to, to multiply their faith. And um, next year, we have the event again. So it's not a one-off thing, annual yeah. event. And that's a large audience every year of teens. You know, people who we can influence and have a positive impact on. Yeah. So yeah, that's how we plan to use it in the future.